Welcome back to the Cronkite Sports Report. I'm Victoria Samuels. The United States men's national team World Cup journey began today with their opening match against Wales in Qatar. Cronkite News reporter Edison LaCour was at Walter Station in Phoenix where soccer fans got the party started. Today marked the first World Cup match for the U.S. men's national team in over 3,000 days. Here in Phoenix, the American Outlaws hosted a watch party, but celebrations got started on Saturday night with their traditional night before event. The moment we qualified in March, we really kind of hunkered down and went, what do we need to do in order to make this the biggest watch party in the Valley? That's ultimately been our goal since day one, is uniting the Valley in soccer. USMNT fans have had to wait eight years since the U.S. was in the World Cup. Now that they are back, AO Phoenix sees it as a chance to prove themselves. Each World Cup cycle, we kind of have a different goal. We had, in 2010, kind of the establishment phase. In 2014, we had the growth stage. 2022, it's kind of the legitimacy stage. This cycle began with their night before event, where they held a FIFA tournament, a Bino tournament, and had their new official World Cup merchandise available for purchase. We're going from about 230 people to roughly 500, which is going to be an undertaking that we haven't seen in a while. And, and that for us is scary, but it's also exciting at the same time. The games are finally here. And what do you do when home base is a brewery and your chapter slogan is more beer? You make your own beer, of course. This is AOL. We wanted to create something that was a super crushable beer that you could have a few of at noon and not feel like you were dragging for the rest of the day. When we were playing Mexico in Gold Cup, um, I was helping bartend one of the matches. And I was pouring a beer when we scored, and the hair on my arm stood up. I got goosebumps all over the place. And I'm looking forward to three full days of nothing but that. The atmosphere here is electric at Walter Station. I myself have goosebumps. These watch parties will continue all throughout the valley and here at Walter Station for the entirety of the U.S.'s run in the World Cup. In Phoenix, Edison LaCour, Cronkite News. The U.S. played to a 1-1 to -one draw with Wales in their first match. They'll play England on Friday. Of course, the World Cup has not been without controversy. Given the host country, Qatar has been under fire for human rights violations, poor treatment of migrant workers, and anti-LGBTQ plus rhetoric. FIFA announced today all 32 captains of the World Cup teams will have an opportunity to wear no discrimination armbands. This comes after FIFA told the captains they cannot wear One Love armbands to support the LGBTQ plus community. FIFA also announced there will be no selling of beer at World Cup stadiums. Teams and fans have expressed criticism of the home country, which could cast a shadow over the sport's biggest stage in the weeks ahead. The Cardinals are in Mexico City tonight to take on the 49ers. Mexico has grown a large fan base for the NFL and its teams. Cronkite News reporter Liam Barrett walked around Mexico City to see just how much of the NFL culture has grown. Mexico is home to a huge NFL fan base. Being the first country outside of the USA to host an NFL game back in 2005, it's clear that the Mexican people have embraced the sport in the years since. Sports bar and restaurant Pinche Gringo is a prime example of how much the fandom has grown. And owner Dan DeFossi says the NFL has taken notice. Listen, Mexico is the second largest uh, country for NFL fans in the world. And of course, we're neighbors, so there's a lot of cultural diffusion. Uh, and I know Mexico has adopted a lot of the passion for football. Mexican fans have their teams, and they're very passionate about their game. And I think that's something that the NFL understands. The NFL continues to grow in size in Mexico City. And if you're a Niners fan, it's not hard to tell. Although there are Cardinals fans in Mexico, it's clear that the 49ers have a much larger grip on the country. Mexico City local Tanya Osegura says that sharing a love for an NFL team is something that brings people together. When you can share a passion with your family, I think that becomes like, a, like the best thing. Like, like here, we're sharing with all these people, so it's even better. The Mexican NFL experience isn't just exciting for locals. California native Brianna Guzman traveled all the way to Mexico City to support her team. She says she couldn't pass on the opportunity to see the 49ers play abroad. Oh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You're never going to get it again. Even if they were to come back, it's not going to be the same. It'll be completely different, so I'm really happy to be here. 
Teams like the 49ers and Cardinals continue to grow their fan bases in Mexico. And the games played in Mexico City shine a light on just how much the NFL has become a part of Mexican culture. In Mexico City, Liam Barrett, Cronkite News. The Cardinals take on the 49ers tonight at 615 at the Aztec Stadium in Mexico City. Neither ASU nor Arizona will be heading to a bowl game this season, but they aren't quite done as yet. Both will be playing for bragging rights this Friday in the annual Territorial Cup. The Sun Devils have dominated the matchup recently with five straight wins. Head coach Sean Aguano is hoping to keep that streak alive. A win, uh, especially in this Territorial Cup, um, there is pressure on a, on a head coach, you know, from, uh, from the standpoint that, um, you know, everybody's watching. Um, uh, there's pressure to win. Um, but uh, I embrace that. I mean, that's just, that's just the game of football, and I've, I've been doing this for, for a long time. The game will kick off on Friday at 1 p.m. That's it for today's Cronkite Sports Report. Back to you, Sydney.